Welcome back painting friends. Today we are going to paint a cute little frog sitting on a branch looking at some snacks. Um, sorry about my voice. I got laryngitis last week so it's just now coming back. But the colors you're going to need today are light blue, dark blue, green, white, black, yellow, and brown. The brushes we're going to use are my same favorite brushes. My one inch flat brush, my number 10, four, and one round brush. Don't forget to have a cup of water handy for cleaning your brushes and a rag for keeping your brushes clean. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with my number one round brush and I'm gonna make lines of light blue. And I'm gonna make a lot of lines of light blue and these lines should go all the way from the top to the bottom. I didn't fill it all the way in because what I'm going to do now is add some green. I'm just going to drop some green paint on here um, vertically, which means my paintbrush has turned the tall way in some of those white spots. But I'm also going to add a little bit of dark blue to those areas, just my ones that don't have light blue in them. And then maybe even a little bit of yellow. So in those areas that don't have any paint, I'm going to be mixing up those three colors, the green, the blue, and the yellow. And watch what we're going to do. We're going to start at one end and we're going to pull it all the way across to the other end. So I'm going to start here making lines and I'm just going to go all the way across. And what's going to happen is, is in, in some areas, it's going to get just a little bit more light blue. And in other areas, it's going to be a little bit more of that greenish yellow mix. So I'm gonna go all the way across and then I'm gonna grab some more paint and go back again. Perfect. I can wipe my brush off and wash it off, let it dry, and when we come back, we will add in our background and our frog. All right, with a dry background, we're gonna add some cattail reeds in the background. So I'm gonna use my number 10 round brush, and I'm gonna use a mixture of brown and yellow paint. So I've got brown and yellow on here. And I'm gonna make a couple of cattails that are just kind of, they don't have to be really straight lines. They could be a little bit curved. We'll put the cattail on top of it. Um, I'm going to water my paint down just a little bit. It's kind of thick. I noticed that if I water my paint down just a little bit, I don't get these fuzzy edges to it. So a little bit of water on my brush and I can re-pull those colors down. I get a much smoother edge. Now you can make as many cattails as you want. I'm probably gonna put three on mine. And they do not have to all be the same size, but remember we are gonna put a big frog right here in the middle. So you don't want a cattail ending right here in the middle. It should end just behind our frog's head. Now, cattails have these ovals at the top where all the fluff stays, right? So I'm actually gonna use more yellow paint for that than brown. So I want this to be just a little bit lighter. And all I'm gonna make is a tall oval. Kinda looks like a hot dog on the top of a stick, right? So just a tall oval right there at the top, leaving a little part of the stick showing. Mm -hmm. 
take my brush, wash it off and wipe it off. Now my stick that my frog is going to be on, it's just going to kind of be hanging out down here. Um, and I'm going to use that brown paint for it, but we're going to add some fun to it. So regular brown paint. And I'm just going to make a stick that just kind of goes across my paper at a small angle. I'm going to add a little bit of white to it. I'm just going to drop some white spots on. I did not wash my brush off or anything. I'm just going to drop some white spots on, wipe my brush off, and then I'm going to pull those colors across so that my stick has a little bit of a light line to it. Wash that brush off. Now let's lay out our frog. So I am going to use green paint to lay out my frog and then we'll add some um, other colors to it. But just to start off with the frog is some green paint. And really I'm going to start with a big circle. And this big circle is going to go just behind my stick. So the top part can be like right here. And then if you want to, you can kind of hop over and finish the bottom part. If hopping over it is hard for you, just go right through the line. It's okay. You can redraw your stick. Right up here, just above my stick, I am going to make a curved line. It kind of looks like a mustache. You see that? So it just looks like a little bit of a mustache line. And I'm going to add two gigantic circles that are going to be attached to the circle at the very top. Down here at the bottom, I'm going to make a line that connects. That's going to be his little leg. So both sides is going to be a line that connects. So it looks like a check mark on the bottom. And then we can go ahead and add some color to these. So on my eyeballs, I'm not going to color the inside, but I am going to make the outside a nice thick circle because the inside I'm going to paint white for his eyes. This top part of a circle, I can also paint green. And then this little check mark area right here, I can also paint green. I'm gonna wipe my brush off, but not wash it off. I don't wanna get all that green off. So I still got some dirty green on my brush. And I'm going to use white and I'm going to paint in this area right here. It's okay if it touches your brown a little bit or some of your brown gets mixed in. Um, this is just his little froggy belly. can wipe my brush off or wash it off and I'm going to add the white for his eyes as well. I do want a cleaner brush for that part. I don't mind a little bit of green mixing in but I don't want it to be super green. Now, while the paint is still a little bit wet, we're gonna add just some blues to it to give it a little bit more um, shadow. So just underneath his eyes, I'm gonna add a small line of blue. And then over here on his left-hand side, I'm gonna add a small line of blue and then underneath the check marks. Now I know that looks kind of weird, but watch what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna take those colors and I'm just gonna wipe my brush off with a dry brush. I'm just gonna blend those colors in a little bit that they look a little bit more like a shadow. So I don't really want to see any blue. What I'm really looking for is some blue green color.
And then right here on his little froggy nose, I'm gonna drop a couple spots of white paint. And I'm gonna just take these and make little curved lines going up his little froggy nose. So just kind of brushing these lines in with small little curves. And do that on the top of his eyes too, just a little bit of white at the top. Now oh, he looks like he's got some funny little eyebrows. But I could just brush those lines in too. And then just above these little bumps right here, above his little mustache line, add a little bit of white. All right, let's let him dry. When we come back, we'll finish off our details. All right, friends, with a totally dry background, we're now gonna add in our little fireflies. And to do that, I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow paint on my finger and I'm just gonna drop a couple of spots of yellow. And these are gonna be my fireflies. So for my wings, I'm just gonna take my number four round brush with a little bit of watered down black paint. I'm just gonna make one curved line here and one curved line there. I can fill those in or you can leave them open if you want them to be clear and open, but it's really just two little curved lines. So it's like a little teardrop shape here, a little teardrop shape there. take the back of my brush with just a little bit of white paint and add just a small highlight to these guys. Now let's move back to our frog. Um, his eyes, I'm going to have him looking up this way towards these little lightning bugs. I'm going to take a little bit of black paint on my finger and just set it right down on his eye, kind of looking at the top left. How cute is that? And then let's finish off his little froggy paws. So his hands are gonna be right here and I'm going to take those and make like a little heart shape, right? So a small little heart shape that's kind of pointing downwards with some yellow paint just to lighten it up a bit. Same thing over here, just a small little heart shape that's upside down with a little bit of white or yellow paint. And then his little froggy feet. I'm going to take some um, white and green paint and right here above where his legs are I'm just gonna make three little loops and some of these loops might need to be behind my hands and that's okay those three little loops are gonna have some white in the center so it's like three little ovals that just kind of come together at the top I'm gonna use that same number four round brush with a little bit of blue paint. I'm gonna make two little lines for his nose. 
with that blue still on my brush, I'm gonna add a little bit of black and I'm just gonna outline this little line right here for his mouth. So I didn't wash the blue off my brush, I just added some black to it. I'm gonna go ahead and add some details to his little froggy fingers. Make some little lines on them because they're webbed. Same thing with his little froggy toes, a little bit of black paint. I'm just gonna outline his little froggy toes a little bit. is so cute. Use the back of my brush with a little bit of white paint to give him a small highlight on his eye. And a little bit of white paint on the top of my cattails just to show a little bit of highlight on those. When everything is done before you sign it, if you decide you wanna do a polka dot frog, they're pretty easy. All you're gonna do is you're gonna find colors that are similar to the colors that we have in certain areas. So like, you know, the lighter colors are gonna be up here where it's lighter. You can just take your finger and you can make some polka dots in those areas. So I'm gonna add some green, some yellow, and maybe some white polka dots to this frog. As I move out, I'm gonna change it mostly to greens with a little bit of blue where I had my blue shadows. Down here on the bottom of them, again, I can add some polka dots with some blues and greens, maybe even a spot of yellow. It's little froggy fingers, I can go ahead and add some yellow to those. Now his belly, it's really up to if you want to add any polka dots or not. You can leave the belly plain, or if you want, you can go with a little bit of that light blue color and some polka dots with some white and some light blue. And add just a couple dots to his lower part of his belly. have it if you decided to add your polka dots now you've got yourself a polka dotted frog remember don't forget to sign your name and a color that shows up well on your canvas remember to like and subscribe to our youtube channel so you're kept up to date on all of our latest videos and remember as always stay kind stay creative and stay safe have a great day friends bye now